Notes on pronunciation. Stressed vowels. An accent mark over a vowel indicates it is produced a little stronger than the other vowels. Only stressable words have accents. The stressable words are verbs, nouns, adjectives, numbers, focus pronouns, and intensifiers. Short grammatical words such as u, the question maker, and ya, past tense, are never stressed. In words with more than one vowel, the accent vowel is a little louder and longer than the unaccented vowel in the word. For example, in the word nutsu, one, the first vowel is pronounced stronger than the other. Unstressed schwa deletion. For most speakers of Klalem, schwa vowels become silent in rapid fluent speech if they are unstressed. For some speakers, unstressed schwas are almost always silent. For example, Natan, my mother, is frequently pronounced Ntan. This never happens to stressed schwas. So Natsu, one, always has a schwa pronounced. Unstressed schwa pronunciation. When unstressed schwa is pronounced, it always takes on some of the features of its neighboring consonants. Before the glottal, it sounds like a, uh, around C with a wedge or ejected C with a wedge, and it sounds like a vowel in American English, hit. And before K with a raised W, X with a raised W, back X with a raised W, or Q with a raised W, it sounds like the vowel in American English, book. Long consonant instead of unstressed schwa. For most speakers, the deletion in casual speech of an unstressed schwa causes the preceding M, N, or hooked N following a stressed vowel to be pronounced long. So, for example, enit, what did you say, becomes eent. For some speakers, this happens even in very careful speech. Double consonants. There are some Kalem words that are spelled with two identical consonants in a row. It is important to know how these doubled consonants are to be pronounced. There are two rules. 1. If the double consonant is from the first two rows of the consonant chart, then both consonants are pronounced separately. For example, in eat, sleep, the first T is pronounced with the tip of the tongue up behind the front teeth, then released that the tip of the tongue moves down quickly. The second T is then immediately pronounced. 2. If the double consonant is a glottal, or if the last three rows of the consonant chart, then the two are pronounced as one sound. It is acceptable to spell the word with two consonants or with one. For example, quanuch, see it, is composed of quan and the suffix nuch. The two N sounds are often pronounced as one N, so the word can also be spelled quanuch. For some speakers, double consonants like this are pronounced as one slightly longish consonant. C is not the same as TS. Although the consonant C was described as like the TS in English hats, C in Clallam is not pronounced the same as TS in Clallam. C starts with the tongue in the same position as for T, then the tongue slides directly into the S sound. Another way of saying this is that the T is released into the S. They are pronounced as one sound. The sequence TS, however, is pronounced as two distinct sounds. The T is pronounced and then released as described for the first T of eat. The tongue then goes back up to produce the S. For example, the two words Quants and quants sound similar to the ears used to English, but they are pronounced distinctly in Clallam. You can listen to the examples of this on the Clallam language website. Final glottal. In fluent rapid speech, final glottal is often dropped. Stressed you before glottal. The vowel U is 
Always pronounced with a sound closer to O when it comes before a glottal stop. For example, the word hoped is pronounced very much like the English word hoped. Stressed U before Y or rejected Y. The vowel stressed U is pronounced by some speakers to sound like O when it comes before Y and especially before ejected Y. For example, hoy often sounds like it would rhyme with the English boy, though the final ejected Y is pronounced with a much tenser throat. Stressed I before Y, glottalized Y, N with a hook, or glottalized N with a hook. The vowel stressed I is pronounced by some speakers as a stressed E when it comes before Y, glottalized Y, N with a hook, or glottalized N with a hook. For example, some speakers pronounced Hing as hang. The vowel written stressed E occurs only before the glottal and sometimes elsewhere as noted in feather 10. So the occurrence of this sound is predictable just as the occurrence of the sound O as noted in feather 9. The symbol stressed E is used in written system but not the stressed O. This systematic inconsistency has been established at the request of elders who when learning to write the language, dislike the spelling of Ethwa for Elwa. Hartningst a Queen's Hartlam. Nist Aimut and Queer Teo Hanash.